Our speakers today are Brad Smith, who you've already heard this morning, CEO of the Foundation Center, and he is going to uh, talk a little bit about glass pockets, and he's also going to moderate the conversation. We also have Sean Stanard Stockton, who is the CEO of Tactical Philanthropy Advisors, and you also heard him this morning, and he is going to share his insights about this as well. Dayan Mitinoff is the CEO and co-founder of Philanthropedia, and he is going to talk about that and demonstrate that for you today. And Lori Finch is with the San Diego Foundation, and she was instrumental in launching their new program called Better Giving, and she's going to talk about that and demonstrate that today, too. This session is about transformation, uh, about transformation of foundations, about transparency, uh, and about ways in which foundations themselves can be more transparent and how foundations can use different tools, transparency tools, to help identify giving and investment opportunities. So we're going to see sort of both sides of that. First of all, uh, just the tremendous growth of foundations. This chart shows it. Uh, it's impossible if you're a grant seeker to possibly keep track of 75,000 foundations. This is a 990 PF tax return filled out by private foundations. The reason I have it there is because it's filled out in pen. And actually, this is one of the better ones. Um, we collect all these at the Foundation Center, and we see them still filled out in pencil. So you can imagine what it's like to get information from these kinds of documents. Sean asked the question about what you do with this deluge of information. The way the whole information industry is working is People are finding ways to give you what you need, a lot of times through a mobile app. That one slice of it that you need, that you're willing to pay for and get, and I think we're still wrestling with this in philanthropy. Um, I just want to show you a tool that the Foundation Center has developed. This is Philanthropy Insight. It's a Google Map platform that has on it 2.2 uh, million grants made by close to 100,000 foundations. This particular example is we were looking at the San Diego metropolitan area, and we're looking at all the money, all the grant money that's gone from foundations into metropolitan San Diego since 2003. And you can see it's, it's a significant amount of money. It's 1.157 billion, uh, billion dollars. This is just a way for grant makers to figure out who's doing what where, which is, I think, the basic question we all have. Russell Leffingwell, a Republican banker from J.P. Morgan, he said it in 1952, to the Cox Commission, which was a congressional commission investigating foundations for support of un-American activities. And he said during those hearings, we think the foundation should have glass pockets. The Foundation Center was created in 1956 for the purpose of making the work of foundations transparent to try to prevent these kinds of hearings from happening in the future. The idea that somehow the best way to protect yourself is to prove you have nothing to hide. My, my remarks are going to focus on the utility of transparency for both nonprofits and for grant makers. There was a, uh, a controversy that ended up in the New York Times around the degree of transparency that the Social Innovation Fund was actually embracing. When I spoke with them, one of the executives of the Social Innovation Fund told me, we aren't focused on transparency for transparency's sake. We care about what objectives it can help us reach. I think transparency is about generating impact. That's why you want to pursue it. One of the biggest hesitancy that people have about transparency is they worry, right? If we share what we do, people are going to criticize us. But I think if you look at it in practice, that's not actually what happens. Um, there's lots of studies that show that when people share mistakes that they've made, other people's confidence and trust in them goes up. So even when sharing information leads people to think you're not doing the best job ever, I think it actually enhances your reputation as a grant maker. I, I, I met a man named Ethan Zuckerman a while ago who was at the Harvard Berkman Center who works on the future of the internet and he was also a source of philanthropy. And uh, I went to him and I said, you know, what do you think from transparency in the internet, what can the foundations do to kind of promote more transparency um, and they, so they can understand more about the grantees and everything? And he, he literally laughed at me and he said, you know, Sean, in a, in a decade, a billion more people around the world are going to have your internet connected with mobile phones. Transparency isn't about you doing something. It's about them coming to you and telling you how you're doing, whether you like it or not. 
So that's the very problem that Philanthropia is trying to solve. It's how to identify the high impact nonprofits. And so in a lot of ways, what Brad talked about in terms of this new age of, of knowledge and data management is exactly what Philanthropia is trying to do. And I'm very thankful for having the opportunity to tell you today and for you being here. Our solution can be summarized in measuring expert agreement. You know, we started a year ago with one cause, 39 experts, uh, just eight nonprofits. Our methodology is really scalable, very easy to do once you can handle it. And today we have 13 causes and 40 million experts and, and close to 200 nonprofits. One of the things that we've, we've found works, uh, works really interestingly it is really the, the kind of the local angle. We think that local giving plays a really important role. And so one of the things that we were really excited about doing, and we're talking to quite a few community foundations, is, uh, is really these two entry corners. Uh, that for every community it seems like they'll be, they'll be different, but you know, creating the kind of better giving with this additional layer of information that uh, the donors can use. The resource I'm going to talk about today is Better Giving. Each individual nonprofit helps provide um, in its vetted information, I should say, which is different from some of the other resources. Um, but they provide information on their financials, so you can get up to date financials. They provide information on their programs and what are big impacts. Um, they provide operational information and leadership information. So um, we know who is on their current board, what's their management team, what's their experience, etc. That information is shared with, with the public. So again, our model is, is that the data itself, which is what you can see on any nonprofit, is, is free and should be open for all. All this information is taken from 990s and audited financials and it's actually input by foundation staff and then verified by the nonprofit. So that is where a lot of our time and investment goes into. If you have a grantee who's highlighted on your thing and you want to say check, you know, check them out at, right. each organization has their own unique URL, so you can actually hyperlink to that organization for to get more information to the public. The better giving sd.org.